We believe in our values, friends and family, support for success, teamwork, Sponsor building and citizenship. Fairness and justice. Satisfaction in doing a good job. Recognition for a job well done. Self-advocates of Indiana, our voice counts. Well, I think a lot of people with disabilities, they've had different experiences. So, really, I tell people I'm 53 years old, and most, most of the people I know that are 53 years old, they, they don't live with their dad, and I live with my dad, and they've been married, they might even be grandparents. I know people younger than me that are grandparents, and I've really only had one job my whole life, and they've had several jobs. And really, they were used to talking about a whole mess of people in their life, and I'm used to talking about just a few people in my life. Self Advocates of Indiana pledges to open up a world of opportunities for people with disability. Self Advocacy has um, helped me grow in ways that when I, before I started in this stuff, I'm doing stuff that I never would have thought I would have done in all my life. I mean, I, um, I went from a person that didn't talk very much at all to other people. I didn't, I didn't make friends very easily, and I didn't like talking to people. And when I first went into services, I would stand in the corner because I didn't know anybody and I was really shy. And um, it's helped me to grow and to be able to talk and tell people what I want. And I also um, travel around the state talking to people and telling people um, what I need and what I want for my life and um, that kind of thing. And also now I also travel by myself around the country um, doing the same thing speaking up and talking about self-advocacy and why it's important in people's lives. Self-advocacy group, when it is going out, is showing people that disability people is not just something that you hear about, showing them that they can do things and stuff, and that they got voices, and the, the, the time to start hearing from them, because their voices count. We've been going for 16 years. People, disability people have been on boards. They got married, got regular jobs, got their own homes. Self Advocates of Indiana is an organization of citizens who speaks out and educate for equal rights, respect, and inclusion for all in the community. That means you mean that Self Advocates of Indiana um, can go out there and, and speak out for people and, and help people become uh, full-fledged citizens in our community and participate in our community just like everybody else. We can go anywhere we want and we can do the same thing that the rest of the community does without even asking somebody. I mean, a lot of times people with disabilities feel like they have to go and ask somebody, can they do this or can they do that? And I really feel that the mission of self advocates is to help us become equal citizens um, like everybody else. We spend time talking about things important to us. When I come to me and I'm able to learn about self advocates and stand up for my rights and for the rights of others. 
we encourage each other to go back to our community and let people know what it is we're doing and why it's important. Hoping this advocate has opened up um, opportunities for me um, before joining the advocacy. I didn't know that much about you know about life, and I always had hopes and dreams of doing you know some of the things that I wanted to do. Well, because now because it's just how to get, I'm able to travel and go out, you know, into the different communities and speak. And also, I mean, my I had hopes and dreams of, you know, wanting to get married and having a life, having a family of, um, you know, my own. And I was able to have that, you know, recently. We just said, my husband and I, we just celebrated our first years and the first years, so that was, a, you know, amazing too for me. We are learning, we have opinions. I want them to be able to learn how to speak up for themselves. I want them to learn how to be better advocates. I want them to learn uh, that they have rights, that they're able to make their own decisions that they are capable of doing things for themselves, um, that we feel strong when we are doing things independently and as a team. It's important to me to um, get the word out for self-advocacy because some of the people doesn't know what self-advocacy is. And I feel like that's important to me because then they'll get, then I get the word out and then they can work on the South Africa. Like my mom doesn't make my decisions, I make the decisions and nobody else. We work hard to raise funds to help our organization grow. To raise money is what they do is they save tabs of a pop cans. And you can use them pop cans for recycling and some people get money from it. To raise that money and they put that in the self advocacy fundraisers. And that helps them to raise more money and to send people to different places. Like I have been to California, and it was wonderful. You see different faces, you see different people, you get to mingle with them, talk to them, and know what they want from us. We have done uh, lots of chili supples, dances, the most, most Palpable one is the pie in the face. So, and usually we make like, like 700 every time we have a choice of a dance or pie in the face. We are working hard to make our dreams come true. My dream is to um, have my own craft shop and sell things and make things and find someone special, settle down and get married, and have a career and, and live my life like that, if my dreams ever come true. We had people tell us, oh, it's not going to work. Um, you won't be able to, your marriage won't last more than a year. Uh, Lori, if there's anything that I'm not mentioning, please speak up with it. Um, just a lot of negative comments um, that it wasn't going to work. Well, the more somebody tells me something's not going to work, the more I fight to make it work. And so does Lori. And so we jumped over the fact that people said our marriage wasn't going to work for a year. We've been married for ten years now and doing great. 
We offer our expertise because of who we are and what we do. We are um, helping to set policy, uh, affect policy. Um, we are helping to build new self-advocate groups all the time. We are giving presentations in our community. We are speaking up for our, what we want for our own lives. We are learning to grow and to work as a team. We are growing and getting strong as an organization. We're out there advocating for people and speaking up for people and speaking up for what we want for our lives every day. We're on um, policy committee to help change policy and we're on um, committee to just let people know how we feel about the things that affect our lives. We see a world where people are equal and treated with dignity and respect. We want the same things they do and stuff. We want jobs, we want family, we want respect, we want help and stuff. But we want to show them that we can do just the things they can do. Hold a job and get a home of our own and, and, and show people that we can be friends and stuff. That uh, maybe we might need a little bit of help and stuff. But that don't mean that, you know, that we can't do it on our own things we can do on our own. Self-advocate to me means to be able to stand up for our rights as people with disabilities, um, to be able to let people know that we are here to speak out on what we want to speak out for and to be able to help others. And I think right there is my main purpose is to help other people and to get not only my rights or Lori's rights, but everybody's rights as people with disabilities to get them to where everybody's treated equally. Hear our voice. I'm a self-advocate. I support other self-advocates. I take responsibility for my life. I want my voice to be heard. I'm self-advocate and I know my rights. I speak for those who can't. My voice matters. I speak up for my rights. I want the joys of my life. I DJ and I am starting my own business. I educate the public. I like to shop. I am a self-advocate. I tell people my opinion. I have a right to get married. I have a girlfriend named Sheila. I'm learning how to stand up for myself to be a better citizen in the United States. I have the right to live who I want to live with. I help to change how things are done. I'm a chef I get you not to work. I speak on issues important to me. I have choices. I believe in myself. I'm a self-advocate. I make a difference.